create an artwork using the salt technique. I have fastened the silk on to the frame using the ordinary three prong thumb packs. As I will use this artwork, maybe I will even, when it is finished, divide it in two parts because I will use it for a handbag. I will use only blue and green with a touch of violet color in between. Of course, you, if you use uh, several colors, you will, you will get a more, uh, in a more artistic painting. But as I already know what I will use it for, so and, and I will do a handbag in blue colors. So that's why I simply use these colors and no red and uh, colors like that in between. I simply start by putting the brush into the water. Always take water in, in, in the brush and then onto the paint and onto the silk. Here I am not put water onto the silk uh, before starting because in this uh, painting I will do very very fast. You can do that when you when you use this technique and just blend colors as you go on. Here I will take it's a blue green color, turquoise. You can put some colors. You can change it a bit as you when you finish because you can put colors on top of, of this first ones if you want to. So bottles before you start as the pigment sinks to the bottom. I didn't I didn't put water onto the sink because you know at in our first videos I told you if you didn't put water on you will get lines as the silk paint dries at the edge. But in, in a painting like this, I think it is nice to have effects like this. It's a, a part of the, the artwork, almost. So, well, I do it that way. I do use ordinary sea salt. Because that has the same effect as you simply just it on to the color. You don't see the effect immediately. Uh, it's when the silk is dry, you see the whole, the whole effect of the salt you have put onto it. If you leave your, your, your painting, and don't look at it until it is dry. You will, I, I'm sure you will get a real surprise when you look at it because what you have created is a real artwork. Go on. It's real salt. I also want to use, fill my brush with water and let it drip on to the painting. It creates a bit of a harder effect. Here the, the salt has already started to move the color. It's a very, very nice uh, technique. I will now let it stay to dry completely. You can in fact see that the salt has started to work by moving the color. Now I will leave it to dry 
and I will not look at it until it is completely dry. I hope I get a very, very nice surprise. The painting is dry, and I think you agree when I say this has become a beautiful artwork. I see how the salt has created patterns all by itself. You can see how it creates even even new colors because this blue has been mixed even with the reds in it and when the salt works it's just like the color is separated and you can see the red or the purple comes forward and the blue stays at the edges. The green has created a wonderful pattern. And the blues. That's why I painted a bit of purple because I knew that this blue color would be separated into purple and blue when drying. Now we just remove the salt. Just brush it off. Onto the table. The salt you can even use several times. But the ones I have already used I place in a, in a jar. Because I, I, you, when I use blues and greens the next time I, will, I can use this salt. I don't want to use it when I do other colors like the reds and um, the ones not used in this painting. Too. Now I will remove it from the frame. And I will rinse it in water because the salt, you may, you may feel a few bits of salt having fastened into the paint. But if you put it in water, the salt of course disappears. Yeah, I think it is all gone. It's no risk because the paint is permanent. Even if you put it directly into water after having, without having ironed it at the back, the color stays. And I put it on the towel to squeeze out most of the water because then I don't have to hang it to dry before ironing it. So now I will iron it from the back. I have ironed it and the artwork is finished. I think it looks just beautiful. And it is done in no time. I have something important to show you. Because if you like me, do one piece of silk. And then you, you find out you do another one and just after having used the salt technique. Then you must be sure to remove every single tiny piece of salt or it will be like this. I painted this in, in black just to show you because this salt, spots of salt, I didn't put there. It is simply tiny, tiny, tiny bits. left on the table after we did our, our painting. So when you do salt technique uh, pictures, you must be sure to use a damp cloth to remove every single tiny bit of salt or you will get spots uh, on your next painting if you do it immediately after the other one. This is not uh, nice, you know, if, if, if you mean to have a, a completely uh, black surface. 